Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you are doing good. So uh, this is something new, something out of the ordinary because uh, right here with me is the no sorry is the Vivo X70 Pro Plus. Now I've been reviewing Nokia Mate devices uh, since the beginning of the channel. And to be honest, I've been using Nokia as my primary device for the past 18 years. Now, investing into something new is sort of a gamble, but I do hope that this turns out to be good. Uh, I have a lot of uh, respect to these uh, new manufacturers out there because they dare, to, uh, they dare to innovate and they dare to try something new. And this is what pushes the boundaries of creation. Now, Vivo X70 Pro Plus uh, collaboration with Zeiss is something I feel that um, might be interesting to see because in the recent years we do have HMD Global's made Nokia phone with Zeiss branding but the Zeiss support or the Zeiss collaboration we do not know how deep is the integration of Zeiss into their devices we do know that they do offer Zeiss uh, portrait modes and all that but if you were to see the implementation of the Zeiss uh, into the recent HMD Global Mate devices, the uh, the limitation in terms of software support is uh, quite apparent. Now, this is something that I'm very interested to try with the X70 Pro Plus. So, we do know that Zeiss is no longer exclusive to uh, Nokia Mate devices. They also collaborate with uh, Sony and also with Vivo. Now, Vivo is one company that I have been observing for quite some time since the launch of Vivo x50 so vivo has been progressively improving on what they've been offering and i'm very curious to see what the x70 pro plus have to offer i do know that it has an excellent low light photography and i do know that uh, this is one of the devices that had a lot of positive reviews from different uh, reviewers out there so with that i'm just going to do a simple this device is actually from china so the X70 Pro Plus is not officially available globally except in India and another market if I'm not mistaken. X70 Pro Plus, Vivo, Zeiss and on the rear you do have some information on the yep, RAM 12 GB of RAM, 512 GB of storage. So I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this device and see um, what does it come with. So this really reminds me of the uh, classic Nokia made devices, especially when the devices like Nokia N95, they come with these square large boxes. So it gives that kind of wipe. So let's see how do we unbox this. So. so you can see the emphasis on the camera here, the model is protruding out. Vivo, Zeiss, co-engineered, this is the Pro Plus, so a lot of Zeiss branding in the uh, rear part of the device, so you know that there's a T-coating here by Zeiss, so I'm just going to lift it up, so apparently the device is encased within this uh, small box, inner box, so we're just going to put this aside. So this is the Vivo flash charge this is the 66 watt charger so apparently this is sold as the uh, prime edition of the uh, vivo x70 pro plus so i do not know whether the uh, contents of it is going to be the same with the other vivo x70 pro plus out there so this is the quick charge this is it's very nice of vivo to actually include this uh, wireless earbud quite impressed actually they've actually bundled them together so as you all know i have been reviewing a lot of these uh hmd and also rich go made uh earbuds so this is certainly impressive to have one made by vivo So the SIM injector tool is here, it's a bit thin. Alright, so this is the SIM injector tool. And what do we have here? The X70 Pro Plus, uh, some guide manual. 
all right i was hoping for some screen protector but uh, okay it's, that's not here let's check this in nope it's just that all right i'm gonna put this aside so uh you've got the usb-c cable here and this is sort of the protective case that comes with the device uh, it's quite thin uh, all right I would I would not say that this is going to add any structural support to your device because it is thin and slightly flimsy than what I would have expected but this would definitely do the job of protecting the back from any scratches so I'm just gonna put this aside put this aside and let's open up so this is the vivo x70 pro plus uh, the device looks gorgeous i'm sorry to my nokia n9 shouldn't have done that all right so let's open this up okay usually what i like to do is just slide them over but this uh, module is preventing me from doing that so I have to open this anyhow all right so there we go this is the vivo x70 pro plus i'm just gonna remove everything else here so as to not to distract us and with me here's the nokia n9 uh, so i'm gonna put all these things aside so this is the vivo x70 pro plus it seems to have a screen protector on yep yes there is a screen protector applied on it already so I'm not sure whether you can see the distinction here, but uh, there is a screen protect. It's not a tempered glass, it's just the normal shield, but that would do the job. So yes, there is a screen protector already applied on. Now the back of the device is nice. It has this matte filling. Uh, if you compare that with the Nokia N9, Nokia N9 is just glossy glass-like back, but this is matte. And you can see how big, how humongous the camera sensors are. So I'm not going to talk much of the spec because uh, by now this is already all well known. But this has one of the most impressive camera setup on a device. It has a gimbal-like stabilization which I would really, really love to test out. Uh, as you all know that the Nokia N9, it does do a wonderful 4K. Uh, 30 frame per second recording but that is limited due to the lack of proper stabilization so i'm very very curious on how the uh, vivo x7 even pro plus is going to uh, behave uh, in 4k recording and even in 8k recording so my first impression is that this is definitely a very well built device it has this it's not really as uh, as solid or as dense as the nokia n9 this is pretty much light. It's much lighter than the Nokia N9 per se. In terms of thickness, I would give them about the same. Uh, Nokia did a very good job in uh, making the camera modules flush. This is slightly protruding. So that is one thing that uh, need to be uh, need to be careful with because your phone is going to be resting on the uh, protruded camera sensor over the back. So over the top, you have uh, what is stated as the professional photography. I believe this is the IR blaster here. There's a microphone on the top. On the right side of the device, volume rocker, power button, nothing much. You've got a rear uh, speaker here, a USB-C charge port, another microphone. This is where your SIM card goes in. On the left hand side pretty much nothing all right so no 3.5 millimeter head jack this time now so that is the quick uh, unboxing of the vivo x70 pro uh, i would be making an in-depth comparison with all the other uh, nokia devices especially those with zeiss branding to see how it goes so i hope you enjoyed this quick unboxing on what to expect on the 12 GB RAM 512 GB edition of the Vivo X70 Pro. So 
do stay tuned for more uh, coverage. See you.